into the dropship. Welcome to an experience that might just change your perception of combat flight simulations. In playing your part as a member of the United Peacekeeping Force, the world of dropship has you placed behind the controls of some unusual craft. Craft that managed to combine the ferocious strike capability of a jet fighter, the agility of a helicopter and the endurance of an armoured transport. We were trying to aim for something a lot further in the future uh, in order to do some more fantastic weaponry and things like that. But uh, just through talking with the artists and through generally working with the team a lot closer, we wanted to bring it more to realistic levels. And I think the form it's in now is more successful than it would have been if we'd kept you know, this idea of dropping down from space and all the rest of it. I mean, it's a very, we've gone for a very real world. You know, it's 2050, but it is a very believable and a very real kind of future. You get to fly around in a dropship, which is uh, a, an advanced craft uh, capable of uh, high-speed flying and also hovering vertical takeoff and landing. We've always had the intention never to make this a flight sim. We always wanted it to be a case of, it's easy to pick up and play, it's easy to fly the plane, and it's a, it's a forgiving flight model, and you feel that it's flying realistically, but you're not having to make all the sort of, the, you know, the fine adjustments to keep it up in the air. There's always a trade-off when you're using hover mode or flight mode in that, generally speaking, if you switch to hover mode to attack ground targets, the likelihood is that there will be ground defences there as well. And obviously if you're sitting there in hover mode, only going, you know, 100 kph, or if you've just stood still, you're obviously much more easy for the enemy defences to target, so you are effectively a sitting duck. Um, it also gives you the capability of, when you're flying along in flight mode, suddenly doing what is effectively a handbrake turn, if you like, switch to hover mode, bank it round really steeply, switch to flight mode again, and you can come out in the other direction. The other aspect of dropship um, is that you also get to drive around on the ground. Uh, you get to drive around in jeeps and armoured cars and tanks and things like that as well. Because that's one of the major points about dropship is that you, you do see things from five kilometres away and you will also be driving you know, 20 feet away from them and they have to kind of work you know, at both scales. With regard to the music, it's uh, get, get the ideas of the designers, what they'd like to hear within the game. Al has a, Al has a huge input in, in, into, into the actual the finishing touches. I mean, he's got his own sort of style and theme throughout the game music. Uh, and then he's got a number of bits and pieces of music that he suggests we should use for this section or that section. He comes along every now and then and he looks over my shoulder to see what I'm doing uh, just to get an idea of what, what is actually required and I keep him updated on what kind of effects I'm actually using and stuff. And when, when, the actual F, when he's actually put the sound on, it's when the actual, the, the actual movie comes to life. Yeah, the time slice in the replay happens when um, something exciting happens and the replay knows when two ships collide into each other or um, four or five things all kind of explode at the same time. It does, it does look really smart. I mean, I was well impressed when I, you know, I first saw it. If something interesting does happen, the camera will actually pause and show it to you for just slightly bit longer than everything else. It's kind of rewarding after you've conquered everything and trashed everyone else in the mission to um, go and look at it and uh, see it from some camera angles that you couldn't see it from while you were playing. So for those up for the challenges we've seen on offer, expect this PlayStation 2 title to enlist your services come January. Hey, that game looks amazing.